Hi everyone, this is Dave and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Ventura Saturn 10 Pro. This is a 10.1 inch Android tablet that comes supplied with a detachable keyboard. I'm really excited to give this a try to see if at this price point we can get something that's really worthy of our hard earned cash. What I've got here is a really cool, fully featured budget end Android tablet. This is the RCA Saturn 10 Pro. I wanted to show you the back first of all. It's got a really strong speaker in this Android tablet and it's also got some other great features as well. Now if I just turn this round, you'll see the reason why I started this video off like I did and that's because I wanted to reveal to you that this is in fact a dockable budget Android tablet and the price is amazing. Just check out the link down below and you'll be amazed at the price of this particular device. Now, this has got a quad core processor in it. It's also got a 10 inch display with a 1280 by 800 HD resolution screen. It's running Google Android version six. It's got 32 gigabytes of internal storage. You can also add extra storage or extra sort of memory to this by a micro SD card. It's compatible with Google Play, so we've got the Google Play Store app already installed. So you can install any app you want on this. And we've also got GPS and a really good battery life. The battery life will give you around about six hours of use between charges, which is more than enough. And we've also got front and rear facing cameras. Now this is a dockable tablet, so I'll show you it off of the keyboard in a short while. But before I do that, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the keyboard. The keyboard's really cool. There is a little sort of trackpad here, so you can see a mouse pointer moving on the screen. If I just move that up to the top right, you can see up here. That's something that the iPads don't do yet. Even the iPad Pro, as far as I know, doesn't have mouse pointer control. So that's really very good. And the keyboard typing experience is more than acceptable. It's a small keyboard, but it is still very, very comfortable to type on. Uh, let me just continue typing this, very responsive, and it really is a great keyboard. In fact, even though I've made a, a typo there, let's just correct that, it is much better, uh, a much better typing experience than the Apple Smart Keyboard. And this comes included with the tablet. Let me just give you a close up of that keyboard. It's a very, very nice keyboard. Yes, it is small, quite compact, no space in between the keys, but proper sort of shaped keys and a nice amount of travel on the keys as well. I think it's a, just a really good option for a keyboard and a nice typing angle as well. And of course, you can close this down and it acts as a cover for the tablet. So you haven't got to worry about a separate case. Now to undock this, it's very, very simple. All you do is just grab the tablet and pull it off like so. And you can see here on the back of the keyboard, we've got little tiny uh, connectors and they line up with the contact points on the bottom of the tablet there. And we've also got these two little receptors which sort of pull the tablet into the actual um, uh, keyboard. Now the tablet itself is very lightweight, really very, very nice to use. We've got a camera you can see on the front here. It comes pre-installed with a screen protector, which is a nice sort of bonus point. If we look around on the side here, we've just got some details on the side, the connectors that I showed you earlier. Around on this side is where all of the connectivity goes on. So we've got USB, power on off, charging point, micro USB, HDMI, and a microphone all on the back. And it is just a really good experience. Android version six, so we can gain access to our notifications and to controls, etc., by swiping down from the top. Very, very nice indeed. We've also got a full app tray. Really a nice amount of apps pre-installed, mainly the Google ones, but pretty much a sort of a stock Android experience. And the performance on this is more than acceptable, as is the audio, very good audio on this indeed. I think for the price point, you won't have any complaints. Uh, the only sort of negative I would pick up on, on this price point is the screen, although it's nice, the viewing angles aren't that great, and the brightness isn't that great either. But front on, if you're sitting at, you know, looking at it at the angle you would look at it, then it's more than acceptable. And at this price point, you have to have some compromises, and the compromises have been made 
in the screen technology. But the performance, that quad core processor, very, very good indeed. This is just a great device, very responsive. It's gonna give you everything you want from an Android tablet at a really good price point. Now, if you compare this to something like an Amazon Kindle, I think this is probably a more fully fledged tablet because you've got uh, native Google Play support. Of course, you can get that on the Amazon Kindles or the Kindle Fires, I should say. Uh, but this is a, a larger screen and you've got that keyboard and it is just a really nice tablet. If you want something where you're gonna do emails, you're gonna consume videos, you're gonna look at photos, uh, you're gonna use the Google sort of range of applications, you've got Docs, Sheets, Google Drive, Google Keep, etc. then this is really very, very good indeed. It is pretty much a bargain. Now I will leave a link down in the video description to where you can pick this up for yourself, so do check that out. Just want to talk to you about the cameras. The cameras aren't that great. We've got this front facing camera and the rear facing camera, not fantastic. Here, while we're looking at the back on this side, you can also see that micro SD card memory slot and the volume up and down, and also a reset button as well. Uh, so there are some compromises made here, but the price point is amazing. You really do need to check out that link to see what a bargain this tablet is. And I think that this, would be very well suited, like I said, to media consumption, but even to somebody like a student who just wants to make notes on the go and have a nice large screen Google Android tablet with a keyboard. I mean, come on, that is just absolutely amazing. Uh, I'll say it again, it's not the best tablet you're gonna buy. It's not a premium tablet, but the fact you're getting the keyboard and the great tablet for the price point, this is absolutely fantastic and i've said this before in other videos i am amazed at what some manufacturers achieve for these prices it's just uh, just amazing i'm almost speechless when i look at what you can get for this is coming in at sort of under 100 pounds so there you go click that link now and you will pick up a tablet that you will be very pleased with this is the rca saturn 10 pro Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe and I'll see you in another video very soon.